Hello everybody, welcome back into my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. Uh, today I am going to attempt to uh, make, um, it's called a dandy cake. It's usually a very luxurious, fruity uh, cake that is done mainly Christmas time. So I have all my dry ingredients and um, I just need to tell you what they are and uh, we can crack on from there. These are all the ingredients that we need for this uh, cake. So here I have uh, 500 plain um, uh, flour. I have sugar. I am using uh, just brown sugar, but you can use uh, light Moscovado sugar, 175 grams. I have uh, mixed spices, you need one a teaspoon i have a baking powder you need one teaspoon as well i have an orange uh, le lemon lemon which i already grated some of the bits that we will be adding onto the dry ingredients i have luxurious mixed uh, dried fruits i have four beaten eggs i have um Almonds, uh, ground almonds, 100 and uh, no, uh, 50 grams. I have um, just uh, blanched almonds, which are still whole. They don't need to be done anything with it. These are purposely for decoration. And then you have um, room temperature butter uh, at 175 grams. So I need my mixer to be able to start uh, mixing the first ingredients. So what I need is to put the butter, uh, room temperature butter in to the mixer. So I put this one in and I put the sugar as well. butter in the bowl so I need so I need the sugar so I just put the sugar in and then I just start mixing them away And they are ready to Sorry about that. And I'm not something as well with my machine. Oh, what happened to my machine? nothing left lying about.
nice creamy mixture just trying to just make sure that everything is all mixing properly so nothing is left or sugar bits yeah like this is a nice creamy mixture just try to beat it up one more time until I'm happy with the consistency remember um, there is no standard you can although it's a fruity cake you can uh, try different things nuts as well together with your dried fruits so there is no standard that you have to say it has to be done in a particular way so we'll beat it one more time let's get away one more time we need to do is to start slowly mixing up the dry ingredients first of all before I put the dry ingredients I will need to mix the dry ingredients together before I put them into the mixer so these are our, our dry ingredients so I need the flour uh, I need the orange, uh, grated orange skin, so I'll put it in, I put the almonds in, I need a teaspoon of baking powder, so that one is in, and I need a teaspoon of mixed spices. So those ones are in, so I mix them together. Make sure they're all blended in together. So there's no bits of when the cake is all done. It's tasting a little bit strange because one part is having too much of spice. So I am happy with that. So what we need to do is, when we are putting in the dry ingredients, uh, you need to put one portion of dry and one portion of um, um, the egg. So I'll put it back, it's a little bit of a mess. I need to put this one in, so at least nothing is coming out that's the point of having the cup we can start fitting it again but on low 
recording and then we start adding the dry ingredients slowly by slowly so in the flour and I am also going to be putting in that I want because it's a very dense fruity cake when it's done. The good thing about this cake is you make it early. Uh, there is no preservatives so it means you are going to give people something you already made it yourself and you know there's no ingredients that you may not want in there. So I think the consistency is good. 
and I am happy to put it in. You need a 20 centimeter uh, baking bowl and you also need um, your oven at 160 degrees that is about 325 uh, Fahrenheit so I am going to pour the mixture in I am happy with the consistency as you can see it's quite a very heavy dense cake and it will bake in the oven between one and a half hours and and two hours so pull it out so we are talking about uh we will have it three weeks from now and what i will do after i bake it i will put it in a tin a tight tin for those three weeks and then it will have gotten enough moisture and yeah and uh, yeah it looks to me that it's going to be really delicious i'm happy how it looks so what we need now is the braised um, almonds uh, the small the whole almonds for decorating our cake because at the end of the day this is a dandy cake and uh, that is how you know is a dandy cake because of the toppings of the almonds so you just put them in a line yeah I enjoyed doing this last year and I am enjoying it as well this time a really um, Give up baking for quite a while but picking up from where I stopped last year uh, I am finding that every little bake that I make even though sometimes it's literally just learning from scratch I just find that it just comes out really well and uh, that makes me so excited I'm like this little girl all over again discovering new things so we are just giving it nice final touches before we put it into the oven as I said it's 160 uh, on an electric stove um, oven mine is electric for those people who have a uh, Gas is Mac 3, I think. And yeah, for the people who prefer in Fahrenheit, I think it's 325 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Yeah, you can put as much as you want. Make it as beautiful as possible when it comes out. At the end of the day, baking is an art, and uh, as an artist, uh, you will never find perfection. Somebody else will. You will always self-critique yourself, say, oh, I could have done it better, I could have improved here and there. But yeah, I am enjoying the process, and I hope you will as well try these at home maybe yours will even turn out better than mine yeah i think those are more than enough yeah and there we go
so that is ready to go into the oven i have already set mine uh we are, and uh yeah we can put it in so i will set my timer on for Preferably two hours and then I will be checking it to see how it goes as we go. Alright, that's too much. Alright, and we wait to see where we will there. When two hours are over or maybe less, we'll just keep on checking on it. Yeah, and there is the masterpiece in waiting to see how it all turns out. The oven is uh, beeping, so we're getting out the cakes. The cakes, yeah, because I, meanwhile, while the dandy cake was being baked, I was preparing also to make my favorite banana bread. So I made three cakes all in one. Luckily, they all needed the same uh, temperature. So, this is not exactly what we were making. This is the banana bread. So, I made two loaves of banana bread. And this is our dandy cake. Yeah, so that one we will leave uh, on the racking. Uh, we we are not going to remove from the uh, tray from the baking uh, tin until it cools down. After we can remove the paper and put it on the racking so that it cools off completely. And after that, it's time for it to go. After it's completely cooled down, it needs to go into the uh, tin and. It'll stay there for three weeks to gain the moisture and then it can be served at Christmas time. So we'll wait for it and then we'll see how it all looks. Yeah, and so that is my baking for the day. Thank you very much.